Uh, hello, this is Puckin' Food, and today I'll be showing you my great-grandma's pancake recipe. My parents loved it so much, they'd visit every single weekend. And we start with the dry ingredients. We have two cups in total of flour, half a cup of almond flour, and one and a half cups of normal flour. You can use any type of flour you really want. Then we have two tablespoons of baking powder, a single tablespoon of baking soda, and we have a tablespoon of hemp seeds, which is uh, optional. We just use it for the protein. And, uh, and then we have a teaspoon of salt. Usually use a little less. And that'll be our dry ingredients. You just wanna mix it all together so it's all incorporated. To the wet ingredients you want to always you can always have them whisked before you start but I decided to do it after now we have two and a quarter cup of buttermilk tablespoons of vegetable oil now you just want to incorporate all of this now we add the wet into the dry probably should do do it in this order try and get most of it now we just fold until we get that good consistency. And if you do like feel that there's not enough liquid, you can always add more buttermilk. All the ingredients. And now we're going to put butter on our Skittle. We're gonna start spooning the pancakes. You can add whatever you like. Brother likes chocolate chips. My parents like whatever. My biggest enjoyment is with raspberries. You can really add as much as you want, but you kind of want to diversify them. They can get burnt. Now we wait for the ends of the pancakes to start bubbling, and that's how you know they turn golden brown. You can always look at the bottom. Sir, yep, you can have one. Mm.